Since its launch, the James Webb Telescope of NASA has given us the most thorough views of the cosmos ever. The JWST camera's extraordinary images were, to put it mildly, breathtaking. One such breathtaking image taken by JWST is the image of the largest planet in our solar system, Jupiter. This image is so breathtaking that it reveals lots of incredible details about the planet, shocking the entire NASA in the process. What are these details that came as a shock to NASA? Stay till the end to find out. At the launch of the James Webb Telescope into space from French Guiana on Christmas Day 2021, astronomers hoped it would deliver incredible images of distant galaxies and star-forming regions, as well as examine the chemical composition of the exoplanets, and the JWST hasn't disappointed. JWST has already captured images of very distant galaxies from Earth, so distant that the cosmic expansion has shifted their light to the infrared part of the spectrum, which the telescope is designed to detect. Its near-infrared spectrograph, NearSpec, has even found carbon dioxide in the exoplanet WASP-39b's atmosphere marking the first time this type of gas has been discovered on a planet outside of our solar system. But JWST has set its sights closer to home, too. The telescope captured the image of Neptune, one of the planets in our solar system, giving us a clear view of the planet. On September 21, 2022, the JWST turned its golden mirrors toward the ice giant Neptune. This planet, like its twin, Uranus, is the least explored planet in our solar system. It was only briefly visited in 1989 by Voyager 2. Its extreme distance from Earth makes it extremely difficult to study, and even the world's largest telescope, but the effort to study it is well worth it. The brief flyby of Voyager 2 in 1989 revealed a planet with a dynamic atmosphere and a rich ring system. The flyby also revealed that Triton, Neptune's largest moon, had a complex surface and active cryovolcanoes that were constantly resurfacing the South Pole of the moon. JWST creates a new window into the Neptune system thanks to its exceptional infrared sensitivity. In the first image of Neptune taken by the telescope, the icy surface of Triton shines brightly and a lot of the planet's moons and its ring system are also revealed. From the images, the ring system was the most surprising aspect. The detection of the ring system from the brief flyby of Voyager 2 is through oculation. With the JWST, a clear image of the ring system popped out. These stunning images are the result of the JWST's camera exceptional sensitivity, combined with the mirror's astounding steadiness. Together, these features enable the detection of really faint structures next to incredibly light ones. But Neptune isn't the only planet that JWST paid a visit to in our solar system. On July 27, astronomers targeted Jupiter with the powerful infrared view of the telescope. Images obtained as a result show a planet that is both familiar and exotic. M. K. de Potter, the principal investigator from the University of California, Berkeley, said in a statement, We've never seen Jupiter like this. It's all quite incredible. We hadn't really expected it to be this good. The JWST near-infrared camera, NearCam, had close-up images of the largest planet in our solar system. The eye-catching close-up of Jupiter shows a variety of cloud bands in addition to storms and oral emissions. As a result of its high-altitude hazes reflecting a lot of sunlight, the equatorial zone covers the whole of the planet and appears dazzling white. For the same reason, the massive great red spot in Jupiter's southern hemisphere Sphere appears as a bright oval. Smaller storms appear reddish-white or white all over the world. Meanwhile, the cyan hue depicts clouds buried deeper in Jupiter's atmosphere, reflecting light at a pressure of around one bar, equivalent to the atmospheric pressure of Earth's surface. The image also depicts the transition from more intricate vortices at higher latitudes to the branded patterns familiar to Earth observers at equatorial and mid-latitude zones. Jupiter's massive aurora can be seen near the giant's north and south poles, brimming with a reddish glow. 
The source of these emissions is ionized hydrogen atoms up to 625 miles or 1,025 kilometers above the cloud tops. Hazes 60 to 120 miles, 100 to 200 kilometers high in the planet's atmosphere would give the poles their greenish hue. If you look closely, you can trace this hazy layer down the limb to the tropical latitudes. The second image shows a stunning wide field view of Jupiter that combines data from two infrared filters. The Aurora and the Jovian Ouds still stand out, but there are many more details in this composite image. Jupiter's faint and dusty rings, which glow a million times brighter than the planet itself, are seen in the same image as the bright planet, demonstrating the strength of JWST. Beautiful background of scattered light also permeates the image. The two most noticeable causes are diffraction spikes from the planet's Aurora and the bright moon low the innermost of Jupiter's fall Galilean moons, which is just beyond the left edge of the image. The latter spike intersects the two visible moons. A more incredible form of background light can be seen at the bottom of the image. According to scientists, the multiple fuzzy spots in the photograph are actually far-off galaxies that photobomb the image. The color in these images looks nothing like what the human eye would see while looking at Jupiter. After all, infrared radiation cannot be detected by our vision. But the image processors for these spectacular shots, citizen scientists named Judy Schmidt and Ricardo Husio from the University of Bath country in Spain created these stunning images by mapping longer infrared wavelengths to the red end of the visible spectrum and shorter wavelengths towards the blue, simulating how the human eye perceives visible light. In the close-up view of Jupiter's disk, the scientists assigned wavelengths of 3.6 micrometers to red-orange 2.12 micrometers to yellow-green and 1.5 micrometers to cyan. They assigned wavelengths of 3.35 micrometers to the color cyan and 2.12 micrometers to the color orange in the wide field picture of the surrounding world. Combined with the deep field images released the other day, these images of Jupiter demonstrate the full grasp of what Webb can observe. From the faintest, most distant observable galaxies to planets in our own cosmic backyard that you can see with the naked eye from your actual backyard. Brian Hollier, a scientist at Baltimore Baltimore's Space Telescope Science Institute, who was part of the mapping team, said in a statement, For astronomers, the results showed that Webb can detect faint objects like satellites or rings, even when they are close to extremely bright astronomical bodies like Jupiter and Saturn. Mars. Images are only one aspect of JWST's observing prowess. The telescope's spectroscopic capabilities are also being used on Jupiter. On July 27, astronomers observed the Great Red Spot at near-infrared wavelengths, and then on August 14th and 15th, similar observations were carried out amid infrared wavelengths. JWST scientists have great expectations for what the Next Generation Space Observatory will teach them about the Jovian system. Researchers plan to examine the world's cloud layers, composition, temperature, winds, and oral activity. In addition, to better comprehend the structure of Jupiter's ring system, astronomers also want insight into the origins and future evolution of the ring system. Finally, planetary scientists anticipate mapping the surface and atmosphere of both the frozen moon Ganymede and the volcanically active moon Io. Astronomers also hope to send Webb on to watch water plumes erupting from Europa's surface ocean, spewing through its icy crust and into space, as well as similar events taking place on Saturn's moon Enceladus. Beyond that, the test result also proved insight into JWST's ability to follow moving targets in space at fast speeds. Jupiter approaches the JWST telescope at an apparent speed of 3.3 milliarc seconds per second and orbits the Sun at a speed of about 29,000 miles per hour. However, the telescope's tracking of an asteroid flying between Mars and Jupiter showed that JWST could follow objects moving up to 67 milliarc seconds per second, more than twice as fast as it was designed to. What do you make of this video? Let us know in the comment section below and thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more content on space and hit the notification bell to be notified of our updates. Bye for now.